Austin show. I'll I'm give here. you my seat. Hold on. Oh, yeah. I'm here. Stop that. Oh, yeah. Hey, baby. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing oh, well. Are you selling that sauce? Uh, we're just giving away some sauce. We got a mic for you right there. Oh, you're all shut up and you're ready for me. Uh, this is this is the improved setup. Well, we Will Will said at the end of a podcast. Yeah, you 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 sent out an open invitation. Yeah, to all of us, and so far, I'm the only one to pull through. That's that's very true. It's good to have you here. Yeah, it's we're good actually to be here. doing an episode of the Internet's least frequent podcast. Yes, it's called Showdown. It's called Showdown. That's right. Which, by the way, I hope you don't mind that I brought in some popcorn. No. Yeah. You look great, by the way. I'll put on some nice just background. Oh, perfect. Hell yeah. I hope I'm not disrupting your flow of content this evening. No, this is great. I planned to have you here. I knew you wanted to come through. That's right. Yeah. You knew it. And here I am. You're here. And so are we giving away some sauce? What's going on? I just give away 10. Oh, you just give away 10. By the way, can I say something? Yeah. And I mean it genuinely. Yeah. And I'm not just saying that because you're one of my closest friends. Sure. But the sauce is legit. The sauce is legit. Like it's 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 delicious and I don't want to oversell it. Buy it. It's delicious. It's you won't be you won't be disappointed. See there you go. There's all the sauce. So we made an integration on Fourth Wall mm-hmm. where you could buy sauce on the website and it just gives it away in chat. Oh fuck yeah. And you prepay for the shipping and it goes anywhere mm-hmm. in the world. Oh. Yeah. Wow. There you go. You could have your sauce in Tokyo. You could have your sauce in Amsterdam. That's right. You could put your sauce on omiraisu. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, no, it's good on every... I dipped them in cur, um, crinkle cut fries. Yeah. So, uh, Austin, I see that you've found my boom chicka pop. Yeah. <laughs> Which, I found your boom chicka pop. Do you know why I started buying that? Why? It's- do you remember when... You, okay, interesting. You're like, you know how you're like, Will said anybody can come over? Yeah. Do you remember what Cutie said in response to that? No. I'll come over if you have snacks. And I said, what snacks? She said, boom, chicka pop. She said, boom, chicka pop. Well, boom, chicka pop. I mean, it's a great, it's a great addition because I'm going to stay longer now. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was going to leave. Oh, okay. I was just going to come in and say hi and leave. And now I'm going to stay. There you go. Because you got the boom, chicka pop. Farley, knock it off. Here, I'll bring him in. Okay. You say hi to chat. Hey, chat. How we doing? Good to see you. I'm eating cutie's popcorn. Nice to see you. Pleasure to be here. Oh, yes. Oh, Farley. yes. Hi, Farley. Come on. How you guys doing? We all feeling good today? It's Friday? No, it's not. Nope. It's Thursday. <laughs> no, it's not. I am so out of touch. I'm losing track of the days. And you're doing you're doing a double tub Saturday. I am doing a, a no, Friday and Saturday. Oh, I'm Saturday. You're Saturday. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got the primetime spot. Mm. We had to put Ludwig... On Friday, because you're the bigger streamer. Oh, okay. So yeah. I'm, the, I'm the bigger pole. Yeah, you're the bigger pole. We put you in the primetime spot on Saturday. Thank you. Yep. Should I show up dirty? That would be funny. <laughs> okay. If whatever you want, just after a show workout, up stanking. Do, yeah, but we are doing a in the tub with Will Neff on uh, on um, Saturday, which I'm very excited about. I can't wait. I've got the tub. It's all ready. I it's a I found a hotel room with a tub. You found a hotel room with a tub. Yeah, I requested a tub. I got to the hotel at like 11 a.m. today. Sure. And they're like, the room's not ready, Mr. Show. Oh, no. We said, Mr. Show, the room's not ready. I said, okay, when will it be ready? It, very soon. I went to eat at Dialogue, came back. Is the room ready? I'm so sorry, Mr. Show. It's not ready. Um, did, you, did you cause a... No, not no. I slow. I said okay, no worries. I have an appointment, so I went to my appointment. <laughs> <laughs> but when you came back, but when I came back, mm. it wasn't ready. And then you caused a stink. I didn't even really cause a stink. I did one of these. I said, um, <laughs> "That's unacceptable." No, I just said this. I said, uh, "You know, they're say they're like, uh, we don't know why it's not ready." And mm. I could see the panic set in, and and I. I I understood that there was a sense of urgency already. I knew I had the so upper hand. Yeah, when you see that there's a sense of urgency, you don't need to you don't need to berate them anymore. Sure, sure. So I just did one of these. I said, "Oh, oh man, am I gonna have to choke a bitch?" No, no. I was just like, "Ah, oh, it's just I've been here since eleven. You know, sure. it's just I've been here since eleven, and no worries, no worries. Hey, I understand. I just I just been here since eleven, and I just did that, and that's all I did. The room was ready in three minutes. Mm. I'm telling you, all you got to do is. 
It's a piercing of the lips, just to. Oh. Mm. But you didn't get anything free. No, no, I, I don't, I don't push for free stuff that much anymore. Wow. I just don't. You've really changed. I don't push for a lot of free stuff. Yeah, well, the only time I'm pushing for free stuff is when I can really stick it to a corporation. Ah, uh, got it. Like I'm more leftist than Hassan. Hassan lets that shit go. Yeah. Right. Yeah. He he lets it go. Like, and I, I I go I don't go straight to the waiter. Speaking of which, should we talk about the elf in the room? He, uh, he misses us. Yeah, he does. He misses. He us. needs us. He needs us. He needs us so he badly. He needs us. And I, I, I hope that this is his realization that he'll never leave the country without us again. That's right. And 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 I hope he realizes that he will never leave the country again mm -hmm. without us. And next time he leaves the country, he's putting you and I all expenses paid <laughs> on a plane. We're gonna charge yeah. per per hour of friendship. Yeah, and you know what? I'm gonna even I'm gonna add something else to this because we got we have the leverage now. Upper okay, hand. we have the upper hand. I want three twinks. I thought you were done with the free stuff, by the way. It's funny that you're like, I'm done with pushing for free hold stuff. On, but you, I, and then <laughs> the next thing out of your mouth was he's paying for our trip. No, 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 but hold on. Sure. I didn't finish what I was saying. Okay, three twinks. I go well, no, no. Behind back up, back up. Because okay. I said I'm done with free stuff. Right. Unless I'm sticking it to the man. <laughs> Yep. This, in this case, Based. this is the man. Based. He has become a Fortune 500 company in my mm -hmm. eyes. And it's time he starts paying up. Yeah. It's time he starts paying. Because, let me tell you. Okay. Men like him. <laughs> not him. But that type of man in a different world was calling me the F slur and beating me up in a back alley. Wow. So he needs to pay me. Wow. So these are reparations. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. That's what I'm saying. That's crazy. That's Sir what Naco! I'm trying to say. Thank you, baby. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. Sorry, Sir okay. Naco, we're talking about gay reparations right yeah. now, which is, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, this is a very nuanced topic. So right. <laughs> I just wanted to thank you for your rate. Also, we got to talk, baby. Uh, I know you wanted to uh, maybe no help. No, no, no. That's Sir oh. Naco. Oh, I'm sorry. You said who did you say? I just I just, I just called him baby because oh. I, I oh. I'm very I'm very folksy with the way I speak. A little ADHD. Listen, I'm sorry. Baby, listen, ADHD. I'm sorry. Uh, Sir Naco, I know you want to help with the feature. I would like that. I know we're going to make the feature probably in the next year. So if you want to get on board, you can. You want to be in the feature? Sure. I would love to. Do you know what that is? I, do, I don't know, but I'm, I, I'm making a feature. But for I you. love you so much that I, I, I'm a terrible, we need to talk about this. I need some acting lessons. Yeah, you're pretty wooden. I'm really bad. I Can I be honest? Mm -hmm. I don't understand how you are such a charismatic human. Mm -hmm. And as soon as the camera is on and you have to deliver a line, it, the char the charisma disappears. Oh, completely. <laughs> like when we're just bullshitting, you're just everything's perfect, line on delivery, big emotion, and then like same thing, cameras on. You're just like I'm Austin Show. <laughs> <laughs> well, like this, like I'm great here. Yeah, no, you're great. This is easy. Yeah, but I'm if mean. I put a camera on and I was like, "Be Austin Show," you'd be like, "No, I'd have sweat." No, I, I, I'm a terrible actor. Yeah, I don't know I'm why. I'm a terrible actor. But I'm just saying, I'm saying a lot of people, I understand why they're terrible actors. You don't get it for me. They have stage fright. Uh -huh. They don't have presence. They uh -huh. don't have charisma. Uh -huh. You are like a seven foot five guy who can't play basketball. It makes <laughs> no sense. Like you go up to slam the ball and you're like, ha! Ah! <laughs> I, I just don't get it. I think that it's the, it's the pressure to deliver something <laughs> yeah. that's scripted oh, or okay. get into a character. You should, you should just improv them. I mean, Every time. Th th that's what I do right <laughs> now. That's what I do. If I could play this elevated version of myself, it'd be yeah, easy. Yeah. I could talk for days. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I talked to a 78-year-old man for six hours on my flight from Seattle to Miami. Oh, are you his twink? No. <laughs> I mean, he did there's ask. A whole, there's a whole twink we, ecosystem. We, we did... We did exchange emails at the end of the. Oh. He said, "Can I write to you?" I said, "Absolutely, oh. yeah. Daddy." <laughs> he said, "Pay for my flight." My point is, I can talk to anybody. Okay. For hours. Okay. Seventy-eight-year-old man. Where were you and Dan Clancy flying? <laughs> I'm kidding. He, you know who he looked like? <laughs> who? Not Dan Clancy. He looked like the guy that's in the bed in Willy Wonka, the grandpa. Oh. Identical to the, the original Willy Wonka. The one that sleeps in the bed with his grandson. Wait, he sleeps with his grandson? Yeah. No, no, he doesn't do that, does he? Chat. Wait, I don't. That's kind of weird. Grandpa Joe. Grandpa Joe. They uh, sleep in the same bed. No, it's a family shared bed. The kids don't aren't in there. 
A you family? Must have, you watched the shared bed. You watched the wrong Willy Wonka, I think. <laughs> All five of them sleep in the bed. Yeah, he watched Willy Wonka and the Problematic Factory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, but they were they were they were less fortunate, and they were broke, and they all shared a bed. Okay, and they, that's why they wanted to win the chocolate factory. Okay. I don't know what. The but you about. connected with this older gentleman. I, I did know. because I was like, you know what? Was he a gay? No. So this is what shocked me. So this okay. guy, this guy. <laughs> okay. okay. So hear me out. I was shocked he wasn't gay. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm, I'm very progressive. <laughs> yeah, sure, right? sure, sure. Sometimes I'm shocked when somebody isn't gay. Okay. Um, so I sit down on this flight. Yep. 78-year-old man. He talks to me, and I'm like, at getting where he's from. He's like, I'm from Southern Oregon. Okay. Very conservative area. Sure. Right? I'm thinking, okay, immediately yeah. I'm going to see a woman. You know, in this place that I'm flying to, I'm I'm straight now because I don't want to deal with it. You know, what ah. I, mean? I don't want to deal. With it. I'm not going to tell him that I'm gay. I'm not going to go into it. I'm just gonna. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I'm just going to not say it. I'm not going to yeah. talk about it. Right. I'm going to see my wife, Courtney. Right, I've been yeah, deployed yeah. in Afghanistan. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah. I'm, I'm making it up. Right. Sure. So we get to talking. If I would tell you, I was wrong. This huh. this guy about halfway through the flight feels it's comfortable. He's like, we need to, he's like, he's like, I don't know how, what your political views are. And I'm like, oh, shit. Okay, here, here it is. Go. Here we go. And he's like, but if any stupid motherfucker votes for Donald Trump or that dumb shit, Ted Cruz, they need to be persecuted for treason. And don't even get me started about Ronald Reagan. Yeah. And I, then he went on. And, and I then was he like, threw a left hook. He was like, and we should suck more dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. No. <laughs> and then turns out. This guy like has it, and he shows me his best friend, who's a seventy-eight-year-old gay man with a with a Filipino husband in New York City. Okay, right? He's not. This guy's not gay. Are you sure? No, no, no. He hasn't been married in a long time. Are you sure? I don't know. I mean, he might have been a gay. You know what? I didn't even think about that. <laughs> wait, wait. His best friend was a gay with a with a Filipino husband, yeah, and you but, didn't think at all that this man might be gay. He didn't tell me. I didn't ask. But he he talked about he had women. He was talking about women. And very he intensely. wanted to, he wanted to communicate with you via email after the flight. Yeah, but I I thought it was a friendly communication. I thought Austin, it was your gaydar is broken. Really? Oh, that's for maybe cool. it, maybe it, maybe it stops working after. Was a he certain... wearing a juicy couture tracksuit? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. He was wearing like a. Jo he looked like. Uh, I mean, he looked like a guy from a small town, like that you would meet at like a, okay. a dive bar. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, but I totally misjudged the guy, um, and then he wouldn't shut the fuck up. I'm just like, oh my god, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, it's like I, it's like this is really sweet, but for six hours, he just went on and on. And he on. just went on and on and on. And you know what? I'm too nice to stop. Oh, uh, I'm too nice to stop. So you talked to him for the. Full I got time. a two hour break when he passed out playing. Uh, uh, whatever those crossword puzzles are. He just... And another thing. I'm tired of the fuck. Yeah, no. He literally passed out with his crossword puzzle in his hand. That's And I got a two-hour break. That's based. But I kept going to the bathroom hoping that we would, like, lose the conversation. You don't take headphones on a plane? I do, but he was... No, he gave you the tap? Yeah. That's crazy. And I'm too nice. That's crazy. I'm way too nice. That's crazy. Yeah. Way too nice. Do you like to do you talk to people on planes? I mean, I I, I will. Six oh, hours wow. long. That's for a cool. So what? Why people? I, 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 I'll do like we maximum. Talk for three like, out of, probably four out of the six. They have given Thirty, minutes. 69, give 30 minutes. But I'll never tap anybody unless I have to use the restroom. Do you see? I'm a. I always feel so. Harley is so intense. Yeah. He's Are you intense. stoned? No, he went on a hike today, so oh, he's, he's just a little tired. He's just feeling emotional. The. I have to have a window seat or aisle seat because mm. I get up to pee probably 15 times a flight. That's so <laughs> insane. Yeah. Have you heard about the challenge that's sweeping the world? What's that? The in-air mile. No. Where you try and walk a mile on a flight, on an international flight. That's insane. It's insane. Wait, should I try it for a TikTok trend? You, you, people are going to be mad at you. Oh. People got really mad at the people who did this. What if I did it exclusively in business class? <laughs> like, like, like people are like, oh, I just, fuck I, those people. I didn't ask you to do it. I was just asking kind of your take on it. Oh, 
I mean, I think it's stupid. Yeah, yeah, it's like dumb. these people aren't walking a mile on land. No, you know what's the point? Well, the guy who did it was really fit. Oh, do it. okay. I, what about? I I still want a gym on a plane. I mean, that'd be awesome. It'd be incredible. It may be good that you and I aren't billionaires, because <laughs> I think you and I, yeah. of we would be <laughs> like. We we'd be still we we'd share with everybody. Yes, but like, like if I was a billionaire, like I would literally the next day I'd call Boeing. Yeah, and I'd purchase a seven forty seven eight hundred. The Twink the Twink Force One. Yeah, and I'd put like. The sh- what do you mean we can't have a hot tub in the plane? <laughs> yeah, I would, I would customize it. I, it would be the coolest shit ever, and like. If anybody knows anything about private jets, you need a small one. I feel like I would see the like the true crime story about how your plane crashed because of the amenities in the plane. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like they warned Mr. Show that the plane was 10,000 pounds over the suggested limit. Seconds to disaster. Yeah. Austin Show's hot tub shifted aggressively to the front of the we plane. You can't have a tungsten stripper pole. It's just too heavy. <laughs> Don't tell me what we can and can't have. <laughs> I'm Austin Show. <laughs> Half the twink population of San Francisco went down in that flight. <laughs> There's like a commemorative wall. <laughs> oh, God. What would you have? First thing you buy as a billionaire. I knew you buy a boat. Oh, yeah. I, I want a sex boat. You want a sex boat. Sex tell boat's me. good. But you know what? What is a sex boat? In, what does that mean? A, a big old boat that people have sex on. Okay, so there's no like the like the boat from Wolf of Wall Street. Okay, that's a sex boat. That's a sex boat. Um, second thing, mm-hmm. otters. Like hairy, slender men. No, no, oh. no. Like like what? otters. I what? love fucking otters. I would buy like an <laughs> otter sanctuary, <laughs> and I would have a bunch of pet otters. That's awesome. Yeah. And Can... what would you do with them? Just let him live, bro. <laughs> it's so funny because you said I love fucking otters. No, 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 no. I love fucking comma comma otters. otters. Not I love fucking otters. <laughs> I love otters. Oh, yeah. He doesn't love. He loves he fucking loves comma me. otters. Those otters stole my heart in Japan. Yeah, they were they were pretty sweet, weren't they? They got li- they got little people hands. Yeah. Wait, you know what? I just totally li- I wasn't there. Yeah, there. Well, I you saw the video. Where did I go? I left. You did. I was miserable on that. Trip. You were. I was miserable, and you tried to tell me. But Chad, I can talk about it now. I don't want to talk about the details, but I was going through a very tough time. Yep. Will knows. I know. Will told me. Will knew. And I have never spoken a word of it. No, he hasn't. Ever. He hasn't. No, I was uh, I was going through an emotional time. It I'm not going to say what it was, but you guys could probably think about what happens when you go through emotional times and you yeah. s- traumatic times that aren't a death in the family. He tried to go back in the closet. I did. <laughs> I did. I tried to come out as straight. I really did. <laughs> I tried. But that's why I was so awful on the Japan trip. Yeah, no, you just... you weren't you weren't awful. You weren't awful. Hassan and I, to this day, I maintain this. We just wanted you to do stuff with us. Yeah, which I will now, next time. Yeah. Did I tell you? Did I ever say? Because I had a hookup in Japan. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I, did I ever talk about it? Publicly? Yeah. I have no idea. Did I talk about my hookup in Japan? Am I allowed to talk about that? I mean, what I do you mean like allowed? I You're a grown ass man who had consensual sex. That's true. So I went. So in Japan. And, and for the record, uh, people don't know this about me, but that was my this was my first time using one of those gay hookup apps. <laughs> Just say you were on Grinder. I was on Grinder, okay? <laughs> right. I was on Christian Gays, right. and wow, those are <laughs> some very pious, very holy men. Right. I was on Grinder, and um, <laughs> I <laughs> I was on one of those gay apps. And I, uh, and I swear to God, first time ever, I was, and, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to try this. So I, do you remember showing me your first experiences? Like, where you'd be like, oh, yeah, wow, 
That's for a what they just post. Yeah, yeah. What they just, this I was is, like, this abs. I was like a kid in the candy these store. Abs. I was like, I was like a kid in the candy I'd be store. Like, yeah, was I was like, yeah, I know what grinder looks yeah, like. Yeah, it, it was. Uh, yeah. So this one guy messages me, and like, it's like the picture of like a flower, and I'm like, oh, this ain't gonna be anything because usually it's like, uh, you yeah. know, if somebody's not put sends a photo, I'm like, wow, this guy's really attractive. So we DM. <laughs> By the way, someone's going, Will, Will, question mark. I live in West Hollywood. I live in gay Mecca, okay? Yeah. If you live in Mecca and don't know what the Quran is, it's it's not because you're not Muslim. It's because you're blissfully unaware, okay? <laughs> I've seen Grinder. okay? I have gay friends. I live in gay Mecca. Yeah. I am aware of what Grinder is. Thank you. Plus, Will's the straightest or the gayest straight man alive. That's right. Anyway. I, I have a new qualification for what I am. What are you? I'm Peacock. Ah. This is straight men, like Macho Man Randy Savage, uh -huh. where we're so straight, we come off as gay. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's, that is profound. Yeah, I branded it. Got my sauce. Thanks. Peacock. Daddy. Peacock, man. It's going to take off. Yep. Just like there's twinks, otters, bears. Peacocks. Peacocks. It's going to become a part of the LGBTQ community. <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> they are going to add a P. They're going <laughs> to... LGBTQ plus. I'm gonna P. be on the float next year. <laughs> yeah. I love tits, but yeah. I'm just born this way. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So, um, I don't know how comfortable I'm telling this. I mean, there's nothing really to. Uh, you are the one who opened it up. I know, I know, I know. I mean, there, there's listen, nothing. I will shut the door. It's a funny. No, no, we don't have to shut the door. You want to talk about it? I, I don't. There's nothing other than it's just an intimate part of my sex life. Is Austin? There's only two options. Okay, you, well, you talk about it or you don't talk about it. Should I talk about it? I mean, I don't even know nothing other than well. Okay. You had hot gay sex. I a, did. I did. In I did. a high rise. I did in the room that we filmed that podcast. Yeah. In. The rest of the the Japan trip was. <laughs> you hate it. Oh, that's for the hot sex in the in the penthouse suite you loved. It was awesome. So I, and the best part was, <laughs> you had brunch with Marat the next day, and he was the first person you told about it. <laughs> He's the only person. That <laughs> so fucking, so fucking Marat, socially awkward Marat. You're like, there I was. We were fucking. I was eating ass. <laughs> Top of the building, Marat. <laughs> I had him spread open like a banana split. And Marat's like. <laughs> so this is how it went down. Yeah. So I'm in Japan. I This guy, I message him. Um, it's, you know, we're messaging back and forth. Very broken English. Mm -hmm. Doesn't speak a lot of English. Sure. And I'm sitting there. I'm like, hey, you know. Did you try to say, speak any Japanese? I, I, I did actually use Google Translate. I you hit, do you hit him with an arigato or two? No, I, I, I didn't know what I was saying. I was <laughs> using uh, frantically using Google Translate. So I was sitting there lying on the couch, <laughs> and I was like, "He's like, I have, I have, I have to go to this this class or something." What the fuck is Japanese for top? Like Jesus he had Christ. to like, I don't know what he was doing, um, but he had to like. Oh, yeah, wow. Uh, cool. I don't know what the fuck he was. He was like, sure. a, I think he was a dancer. Yeah. Um, no, he was. Like that. I remember. Yeah. He's he a was. dancer. Yeah. yeah. So, um, and so I was like, I was like, when are you, he said, I was like, when are you free? And I was like trying to communicate to him. I was like, what do you want to do? Yeah. I was like, do you want to, you know, oral, like, wh what do you want to do? Like, yeah. I wanted to set the expectations because yeah. there's a, you know, I want to make sure Sexu we. Sexu Korasa. Yeah. Like, w what are we doing? Like, what do you want to do? I don't want to just invite some random person. And not know what the hell the expectations are. Sure. You know. Uh, so I'm like, he just says yes. And I'm like, okay, that didn't answer my question. I was like, what oh, do you. <laughs> but it did. But it did. So I was like, what do you want to do? And he said yes. And I was like, okay, well, that doesn't really answer my question. But okay. I was like, you know. And he, I was like, when are you free? And he's like, now. And I'm like, okay. And then I'm like expecting him to respond. And I'm like, oh, you know, he's ghosted me or whatever. Sure. And I'm sitting in the room I'm like, okay, he's not coming. And then I was like, um, and then he messaged me. He says, I'm 10 minutes away. Yeah. I'm like, 
fuck. And this is yeah. This was one of your first big boy gay experiences. Big boy gay experience. I had no lube. I had no, no condoms. I had no nothing. All you could gauge was your straight friends and their endless machinations trying to flirt with women. And yes. then you experience the hard and fast lifestyle of yes. adult gay men. It was like, <laughs> I'm, I'm diving in to the deep end, okay? So I'm like, shit. <laughs> So he's 10 minutes away. Do you want to do oral? Do you want to hook up? Do you want to go on a date? Do, right. you, want to, do you want to fuck? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where do you want to meet up? I'm outside. Yeah, oh, like, shit. Yeah, that's exactly how it went. So I'm like, fuck. I need lube. I need condoms because I don't have anything. Right? I need my tools. Yeah, I need my tools. So I am in, 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 we, I'm, we stay at the Tokyo Midtown Tower. Sure. Okay. I'm frantically looking for a convenience store yeah. that sells lube. I go to the convenience store. I get in immediately. Find the condoms. No problem. Sure. Lube. I'm like, oh my god, everything's in Japanese. Yeah. It, it, the the packaging's different. I can't figure it out. <laughs> you I bought go, a tube of applesauce. I go first. on. I go on Google Translate. <laughs> yeah. And I t I'm like, I have to. I type in <laughs> lube, right? And I go to the lady and I translate it, and she's like, oh, yeah, yeah, lube. Yeah, in this extremely modest nation, yes. you run in frantically with a box of condoms and you go, butt sex! <laughs> no, no. Butt sex! No, but I had to. I, I, I didn't. I was like looking and she was like trying to help me and I was like, where is it? And I, was, I wasn't like yelling. I was just like very quiet. <laughs> You're sweating. I was like, he's going to be here in 10 minutes. And the funniest, I didn't even tell you this part, but my... <laughs> My toenails were a little long. I was insecure about it. So I bought some toenail clippers too. <laughs> and and I and I buy the stuff. All right. He messages me. He's I like, can only imagine what that poor Japanese woman was thinking yeah. when you bought condoms, lube, and nail clippers. Yeah, nail clippers. Yeah. She thought you were going in this first. <laughs> yeah, no. So I um so anyway, so I go into the, I find this bathroom that I could clip my nails in. So I clip my nails sure. and he's here and I go, I'm able to, I think I dropped the lube and stuff off upstairs Sure. and I go up the stair because the, the, the lobby of this hotel is on the 40th floor. Yeah. And I'm like, I remember yeah. you were staying in the Ritz Carlton. Yes. Yeah. He blew us off. We had, we had an Airbnb to go stay at the Ritz. Yeah. But the, it was nice. It was awesome. It was awesome. Like I don't, if I, if we do that again, I'm blowing you off again. I'm staying at the Ritz. <laughs> Cause that play and you, you are too. Cause it fucking is awesome. Okay, fair. Floor to ceiling windows, looking down at a helipad. It was incredible. Yeah. So I'm like, I see him and I get to the lobby and I see him. He is gorgeous. Yeah, he's hot. Blonde hair. Uh, about my height. Mm. He's like wearing a dress shirt. Mm -hmm. Like very formal. Yeah. Um, and then we like go up to the like elevator and I'm like trying to make small talk. It's not working. Yeah. Because he doesn't speak English. Yeah, you don't. And I get to the room. I sit him down. I offer him a glass of water. Yeah. You some Mizu. Yeah. And I was like, you know, and I was like, you know, trying to like talk and converse. And I, I was really trying to have some conversation because when I hook up with somebody, I don't want to just get in and start fucking. I want to talk. I want to like. Yeah. Because you, you were still kind of new gay. Yeah. But I still do that. And yeah. I'm still, no, no. I'm still but, doing it. I'll, let's be fair. Yeah. You're but, a little bit more seasoned. Now. I'm more seasoned now. Right. Like I get I, I, I could have been. But I was. <laughs> I've fair. seen you. <laughs> have some pretty horny makeouts. Yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. No, exactly. No, <laughs> I've made out in front of you. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, anyway. So, um, <laughs> so anyway, so I'm like, okay, the small talk's not working. Sure. And so, next thing you know, I mean, we did the thing. We did. We did it all. I even, I ate ass. I did everything. <laughs> I had a wonderful experience. The way that you blushed when you said I ate ass. Yeah, I did, and we had sex. It was it was phenomenal. It was amazing, and you know what? It was mm. so cute. We had a shower afterwards. Yeah, we we took like a shower, and then like like I tried to. Didn't um, you guys hook up again too? Didn't you guys hook up multiple times? No, I tr we we tried to connect, and ah. it just didn't happen. And that yeah. was the story. That's worth a trip right there. It was it was an amazing and I I don't know I didn't want to tell the story right after because like 
you know, when you're going through I'm stuff. I'm going to be honest. Know. You know what's crazy? Hmm. That moment snapped you out of a funk. It did. That moment snapped you. Sometimes you just need some high rise fucking. Yeah. Yeah. It was awesome. The view. Yeah. I didn't even close God, the line. I wish straight people had a grinder app. Yeah. We don't. You don't. We don't. No. It doesn't work. No. It doesn't work the same. No. Caroline was telling me you'd have a twink boyfriend. Yeah. I'd have a twink boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. If you could, like, even now, like, on the side. Have you ever gotten a blowjob from a man? No. You no. don't like blowjobs? Yeah, I do. Oh, you do like blowjobs. I do like blowjobs. Have you ever tried one from a man? No. I, don't, I haven't. I can't say that I have. <laughs> okay. I, mean, I was just curious. You I never can't know. say that I have. Have you tried it? You, you haven't tried it. No. Would you try it? I mean, what if you just love it and it's like the only thing? Is it like a femboy? Maybe. Is it like a cat boy? Could be. Maybe. I'll try it. All right. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> I just, I just want to know what I need to get you for your birthday. Service. <laughs> oh, a femboy? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. No, we were having a conversation last night. It was so funny. Uh, there's a creator. I'm not going to list them, but they, they have like a polyamory relationship. Mm hmm. And I was like, God, you guys got it all figured out. Yeah. And Caroline was like, you'd be into that? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, "What?" so another girlfriend. And I was like, I don't know. We can figure it out. She's like, what about another boyfriend? And I was like, what kind of boyfriend? Yeah. She's like, what about a twink? And I was like, I, I don't know. Is, is he is he mannered? <laughs> is he cultured? <laughs> Wait, like you having a twink boyfriend? The th well, the three of us. Yeah. yeah. Oh, like a thruple. Yeah, a thruple. Oh. Oh. I don't know. I see why. When you... is when is anybody mad about having a twink around? You know what I mean? I mean, I'm certainly not. I feel like twinks are just good company. I think that there are some people would disagree. I don't. I'm not one of those people. I think twinks are great company. Hmm. I love twinks. They're great. Listen, I know that may all shock you. over this state, mm -hmm. every day, they spay and neuter stray cat boys. And I'm just saying, give those cat boys a home. And you got one. Rehome a cat boy. Yeah. Yeah. And... Right here. I'm a cat boy? No, no. This is their home. That's what I'm saying. You, are you looking to adopt? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm looking to adopt a stray cat boy. I think I think that's beautiful and natural. Thank you. Speaking of which, we're going to make... Beautiful uh, and natural merch. I got really stoned last night, and I couldn't figure out how to finish a thought. Mm. And so I texted Will, beautiful and natural merch. <laughs> adopt, don't shop. <laughs> 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 I would buy that merch. Yeah, adopt, adopt, don't shop twinks. Adopt, don't shop twinks. <laughs> I'm going to make, I'm making merch. I may do a collab. I'm not going to say with who, but I may be doing a collab with like a pretty big gay company. Mm. About with, with, with merch. Wow. Yeah. You're, you're finally doing your Starbucks collab. <laughs> yeah. I will say that lavender latte is disgusting. One haven't tried it. Mm -mm. Haven't tried it. Yes. Haven't even looked. I, I will admit I still consume Starbucks. Oh, really? And I may tell you why. Farley. Why is that? Oh, because if he doesn't get his, if he doesn't get his puppuccino, there is a template in Discord if you want. Not happy. I will not admit that I uh, go to Starbucks. Okay. But I just know that if I don't get that dude his pup cup, he'll he's not a happy mm. guy. So mm -hmm. I, I go and I get a small black coffee every day. It's not anything delicious, but then I get the pup cup. Do you cup steal it? Free. No, I get the pup cup for free, though. Yeah. Okay. Yep. See, you're kind of like, it's kind of offsets, I feel like, because you get something for free. Yeah. Do any of you drink Starbucks coffee? I'm just curious. No? No. Yeah, I think people have moved on from Starbucks. Starbucks doesn't have great coffee. I'm neutral. Hmm. You never know when Starbucks could come around. Mm. You know what I mean? Oh, and sponsor you? Yeah. I'm always a little safe. You never know when they may come out with that checkbook. In which case, I would say no. Yeah. I, the Pup Cup is a brilliant marketing. Because, mm. like, Farley knows now. He wakes me up for it. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's pissed if, until we go have a Pup Cup. Really? Yeah. And so it's like his morning coffee. It's like his morning coffee. We do like a two mile walk to go get fucking pup cup. 
Speaking of which, is that that's you know a lot of people don't. Fact, I mean, walking is a huge part of exercise. You're looking. You're still looking lean. I'm I'm looking real lean. I'm getting leaner and stronger every day. Every day, mm-hmm. leaner and stronger. It's kind of like an oxymoron when you think about it. I'm doing my best. Doing my best. I'm ready for the tub. Yeah, Will's ready for the tub. I'm excited to have you in the tub. Mm-hmm. We got some really good stuff planned for you. Do you want to do anything while you're here? Do, like. I went to a Clippers game recently, and it was a lot of fun. Really? Uh-huh. I mean, I would love to do something like that. Right. I'm, I'm here. I'm just kind of like, I I, uh, I thought about staying at Hassan's house <laughs> without asking him. Well, he's not here. I thought about it, but I, then I was like, that's kind of scary. Like, what if I hear a noise at night? You know? I like how that was the reason you didn't do it. Yeah. Okay. Like, no, but seriously, like, what if I hear a noise? Would you think he'd be mad if I slept in his bed? I should do that. Sleep in his bed? I should get in his bed and take a selfie and send it to him. That is wild, Austin. <laughs> I should get in his bed and just he's, snap a selfie. He's literally <laughs> the lowest you can be on the planet right now. He's in Australia, and you're going to send him a picture from the Northern Hemisphere. Just in his bed. Just... Eh. No, I would never do that. I'm too good of a friend. Okay. Are we going to the... Disney with QD while he's down there? Sure. I'm down. We need to get our tickets. Oh, no. I know. I'm. I'm down. I. I just. Are saved. we filming a podcast? Yeah. Without him, I want to. I'm down, but he's filming one too, so we gotta beat him to upload it. Well, you can have a double week. Um, we could do two podcasts in one week. Yeah, and see which one performs better. Well, we already know what that. Yeah, already know. He needs us. He does. He desperately. He's needs. learning. Mm-hmm. You know what he needs to do for the election? Oh, uh, what's that? He needs to up his like. He needs to like. Do like more like he's like send people into the field, have well, his own field reporters. You heard what I wanted to do for the election. Tell me. Every day mm-hmm. after he's done with his coverage, mm-hmm. I want to recap the day's events mm-hmm. with sock puppets. Oh yeah. And only fans girls. <laughs> Where it's it's literally like Sesame Street. Oh my god, but with, dude. <laughs> but with like only fans girls. Uh-huh. Bathing suit and me doing sock puppets. Where it's like, today there was a voter discrepancy problem in Nevada. Uh-huh. What happened, Saki? Well, I'll tell you what happened. Wait, but where did the OnlyFans girls come in? They're talking to the sock puppet. Oh, and they're like, they're trying to figure out what happened today. Yes. And the sock puppets are telling them. Yes. This is awesome. It's great. This is great. You should do it in a hot tub. And now you're getting there. See? Yep. See? Yep. All you got to do is add water. Hot sesame, slutty street. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it goes crazy. Big time. Yeah. Did you hear, what What, what are your thoughts on Twitch banning buttholes? Did they ban buttholes? <laughs> There's a new policy on Twitch. Yeah. Where they, you can't focus on an intimate body part. Did you kind of see how intense it had gotten? I mean... Is no. that going to break the rules? No, that's going to be okay. The, the, people literally had a camera underneath a clear seat uh-huh. while they were wearing a bathing suit. A camera underneath a clear seat? Yes. Would you, Could you see their butthole? Yes, pretty much. That's insane. Yeah, it was pretty insane. But you know what? It's so awesome because I can't find my fucking button. Does, is anybody doing it right now so we can show Austin? Is there like, is it... Is it like gonna be banned soon? Okay, this is yeah. This is where it got. Oh my <laughs> I won't even show that. Oh my god. Yeah. But to be honest, you know what? Oh <laughs> you know what? What? I fucking love the innovation. Yeah, I mean the innovation is great. Like, you guys have to understand, Twitch has been like had policies against like sexual content since the beginning of time sure and at every step at every juncture these um these uh streamers Mm -hmm. have found workarounds yep and i just think we need to let it happen well it's i mean it's happening right now that's insane (laughs) that's insane what's going on right there well i mean just for reference well chat we're, I don't. I, I, I'm a cocaine in your way. 
that's what's going on right now. That's what Austin and I were musing at. I mean, look, I'm I I fully support these things. Mm. Well, I think I think what eventually will be the solution is a new and separate category, right? Uh, for kind of the Twitch after dark, uh-huh. as it were, mm-hmm. that I think will kind of put a lot of those streams in its in its own place, mm-hmm. and that will have kind of separate advantages and disadvantages. But like a Twitch after dark, yeah. You think they're going to do that? I do. It's just like a leak or like, do you think Mm-mm. you just intuition? Nope. I, I just think ultimately right now, um, advertisers come in and they see, I almost ate it. Oh. You dirty, they dirty see, boy. uh, they see butthole cam yeah. and it might make them a little hesitant. Yeah. But I don't think they want to like ban those creators. They, I think you partition them a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think they should have their safe space. Mm. I'm pro work like that. Mm -hmm. You know, because I don't know if it's sex work because it's, you know. I think there was a study that came out on an effect called the pornification of Twitch, too, Uh which is really interesting. I didn't read it, but I saw it. The pornification of Twitch? Pornification. I mean, you give humans a camera and the internet, and eventually it's going to spiral into pornography. Yeah, I mean, everything gets sex. Like, like, have you seen the Hardee's commercials? Oh, like the burgers? Like yeah. The, yeah. That shit got smutty. Yeah. They were basically showing butthole during those, yeah. <laughs> during those burger commercials. Yeah, did it make you want to buy a burger? Fuck yeah, it did. Yeah, it did. See? Yeah, it did. That's what I'm saying. Everything will eventually get to sex, eventually. Yeah, well, I think there's always going to be, like, some level of work around. Like, have you ever thought of this? I've thought of this ridiculous hypothetical. Oh. oh. Shit. Yeah, that's one of my bit alerts. Thank you so much. Austin needs Austin raw time. Needs oh, time. we might show you raw time. Raw What's time right? is um, the first just chatting streamer of all time. Uh huh. Was this woman mm-hmm. who was on public access TV mm-hmm. and she would just answer calls for like 30 seconds each and then we'll, we'll look at it later. We'll uh-huh. look at raw time. Okay. And is it like an old, it's an old. Uh, it's old. Yeah, it's like the 1990s. So what if, okay. as a collective group sure. on Twitch, uh-huh. all the adults, yep. consenting adults, what if in like a strong arm contract negotiation with Twitch, sure, in an effort to get 70-30 for everybody, we just all like got nude on camera? Do you think we'd win? You've brought this up before. Yes. It's a hypothetical. <laughs> it's a strong arm thing. And I think we could do it. Austin, you can you can just make an OnlyFans. No. <laughs> this is the Hardee's commercial, okay. by the way. Um, they got banned? I mean, he's got... <laughs> when was this? Sausage breakfast. Oh! <laughs> With three eggs. Loads. Oh my god. Yeah. And a full foot of sausage. Is that even a menu item? No. That's not even a menu item. Open wide. Oh my god. It's breakfast time. Oh <laughs> my. This is a real commercial. The big sausage yeah. breakfast. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, the cows do it. Oh, it, it really is a menu item, but there's no way the sausage looks like that on the menu, right? Eat it like you mean it. There's no way that's real. I'll take your entire stock. You see, it worked, though. It did. It worked. Th- did did it? <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. That's that's crazy. Yeah. They need to do... You know, I... I, I it was great. <laughs> no notes. No. I mean, look, sometimes something just transcends sexuality. Yeah. Like putting a giant sausage in your mouth. Austin, you would eat the fuck out of it. Don't lie. Someone said that you would eat that sandwich. Like after they had eaten it? <laughs> or like on with it before they've eaten it? No, just you would eat the sandwich. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, I, I thought you were talking about that specific sandwich. 
<laughs> no, I was I I was like I'll take my own. I don't need like, to eat what? that sandwich. What, 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 what do you mean she'll fart in my mouth? Yeah, I, I, don't, would, I don't. I mean, sure, but no. Yeah. What are you talking about? You know what? Mm. I like boobs. Wow. But not in the same way you like boobs. Okay. I like boobs because they're like it's like motherly. Mm. That's so brave of you. They do give life. They do. It's like motherly, like it's nurturing. Yeah. I see boobs. I'm like, oh my God, I want to be your best friend. That's interesting. Yeah. I just want to juggle them. I know. Shuffle see, them. It's different. I don't want to touch them. I want to gauge their weight. Yeah. I want to drop one like a <laughs> pendulum and have it hit the other. <laughs> <laughs> Would you, would you, is there, isn't there a sport where women take their boobs and like break bricks or is that from a movie? Are you telling me I, d I didn't know my hobby existed in the world somewhere? I think that's a scene from a movie it's and it's a not sport? real. sport? <laughs> I, I nominate <laughs> myself as trivia. Oh, it's literally from The Dictator. <laughs> oh, I was about to nominate my own skull as tribute. <laughs> Oh, it's the dictator. Okay. Oh, it's a movie. <laughs> oh, it's so stupid. There's a whole playlist of the Hardys things. Oh yeah, for sure. It's real here. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I just help you discover something new. Wait, can we show this? I mean, there was butthole on the fucking platform two seconds ago that's true let's show it this is this is uh, this is sport austin this is a sport yeah i know we don't need to respect. cheapen it yeah i know today i'm gonna smash these bricks using one breast now i say don't try this at home if you have remodeling in your house to do i'll be I don't know what to help are you ready oh and the slow the motion concussion force oh my god henry here has had too much points to drink. So what I'm going to do is... Oh, careful. It, careful, it comes. It could come out. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Oh, my oh. God. From drinking. Oh, my gosh. Heart. No. No way. Nice melons. No way. No way. There's simply no way. There's no way. Those are heavy naturals. Okay, I'm gonna oh, yeah. These what are heavy naturals? Are you ready? Those right there. Like the yeah. melons, the real the melons, the wind up, the pitch. Oh, how does that not hurt her titty? Oh, my God, how come this technique has never found its way into an anime? You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. You think somebody could do that with their dick? No, probably not. No one's dick is heavy enough. That's true. I mean, even the largest of dicks. Yeah. It's true. It's true. I don't... Yeah. I don't you'd have that. to really... Sw you'd have to... <laughs> it'd be death by a thousand cuts. <laughs> yeah. You'd, you'd have, have to, to really pepper. swing it. <laughs> yeah. And then you'd probably come... Like, on a it'd also have to be hard. Yeah. Or you else you're just hard. slapping a tree with a fish. <laughs> <laughs> you got bend in that sausage. <coughs> I mean, all right. What do you want to talk about, Austin? Well, I was loving talking about dick, but yeah, I know we can move on from that. I know. I was gonna talk. I was gonna say something. Okay. Well, I flew here earlier today. Sure. From Florida. Yep. Six hour flight. Sure. Crazy. I'm just trying to think of what happened. I tried to take a phone call on the plane. Didn't work. What is that? Well, I was really anxious. So, chat. Something about me is. When I'm that wait, you knew how did you think it was gonna work? The Wi Fi is really good on Delta flights now. And I um I when somebody calls me, I need to I need to talk to them. Like I, I'm so it makes me so anxious because I'm like, what did they want? It's like somebody that doesn't call uh, you often. I was like, oh my god, what do they want? So I immediately like got up out of my seat, sure. walked to the back of the plane, got in the bathroom put on my headphones and like tried to call them via FaceTime audio. Okay. Didn't work. That's the story. Okay. All right. And now you're here. And now I'm here. How long are you in town for? 
Uh, till Sunday. Wow. Yeah. Quick trip. Yeah, it's a quick trip. No, really, it's a longer trip than usual. And then you go back to Miami. No, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna go back home to Oregon. Okay. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna stay home for a while. I think I'm gonna stay home for a couple weeks. Actually, you're gonna take a vacation. Yeah, I'm gonna take a vacation after my <laughs> double tub. Actually, you know what? I may do. I'm doing double tub this weekend. I may do a single tub next weekend. Because you know why? I'm going to South Beach Pride. So you, yeah, you are taking a vacation. No, no, but that's not. Th- I'm going to South Beach Pride, which I'm hopeful that we can. I want to see it in the tub with a gay icon. Okay. I want to see a Willem Belly. I I know. I or mean, I want to see one of the guys from Queer Eye. I could probably in get the like tub. I could probably get like Austin Show in the tub with like some gay porn stars. Like I mean. Like, what about a Trixie Mattel? Love, Get a drag queen. I would in love the that fucking tub. I would love that. Trixie Mattel in the tub with Austin. Show. Get a fucking drag queen in the tub. I would love that. Wouldn't that be awesome? Yeah, it would be. I wanted to do um, a drag show. Did we talk about this? Yeah. <laughs> we need to do a drag show where we have drag queens like Trixie and. I still think you need to do Austin shows drag race. Yeah, where we. Dress up, but you, you're gonna you, win. You're no, you, gonna you win. pair big yes, streamers with the drag queen. With a drag queen, yes. The drag queen wins all the money if their streamer wins. Uh-huh, uh-huh. They have three hours to get them on fleek to beat their face to get them in look yep. to have them memorize a song. Yep. You have a floating cam showing the process. Yep. And then we all go live. Yes. And what I think would be great is we rent out a venue like the Abbey. Mm. Okay. Or some venue. Yep. We invite members of the gay public. Like yes. Older. G- <laughs> we invite a gays. We right, Yeah. Like older gays. Yeah. Right. We give the audience money. They can tip the, mm. the, the queens. And yes. Gay, you guys. And then we get like a panel of judges. I, I love that. And then like the audience also, the live audience that's there, they vote too. I love that. What do you guys think about this? The Chad? elder gay council? Maybe not. Maybe not like... That the would Abbey. go. That would go nuts. Yeah, that would go nuts. I think it would be amazing. It would be so much fun. Yeah. If you had Hassan, me, Ludwig, Slime. Yep. I like Slime as a wild card. Yep. Squeaks. Squeaks. Squeaks would oh would kill it. Squeaks would kill. Yeah. Seer. Seer. I mean that would it's it's done. Those are some good looking women. Very good looking women. Those would be some hot. Drag I actually queens. myth is a good looking drag queen too. I actually was shocked at how good looking I was when Emmy oh, yeah, wow. Emma Rue put me cool. in makeup. Austin. You did look hot. I did. I think the nice thing about drag though is it's not just how you look. Mm-hmm. It's how you fucking perform. Yeah. I went to lip uh, sync for your life. You would have fucking you you should do like you should go do drag. I know, but straights are not really accepted in that community. Really? I feel like it would be my debut if I fucking really nailed it. I If I lost Austin Show's Drag Race, I would carry that with me forever. Yeah. What's your drag? Cherry's Jubilee. Cherry's Jubilee. Or Penis de Milo. Penis de Milo. I love that. Yeah. We, You and I need to go. Come to Miami with me. Have Is, is anybody here from Miami? <laughs> Austin shows drag race race would be so good. I, I would just death drop from the oh, ra- yeah. from the rafters. <clears throat> Hold on, sorry. Anybody here? You're in Miami. I went to a drag show at this place called Palace. Mm. You ever heard of Palace? No. Palace is an iconic place on South Beach. Okay, where they do drag. Palace is one is the best drag show in the country. Okay. Um it's it's like a production. It's insane. Like the the queens there are insane. I recently this past weekend I went to a drag show at a place called Our House. Mm. There's the the drag shows in Florida in Miami are I mean I've been to the ones in WeHo and the queens here are amazing. Like they're mm-hmm. great performers, but the production of the shows in Miami is just like second to none. Over like the top. it's yeah. a fucking like it there's a, there's seatings. Like two fifteen, two thirty. There's yeah. like an eleven a.m. show, yeah, and it's like a whole production, and they make money, yeah. Bottomless. You, you pay like a flat fee. You have no choice. You sit down, yeah. Flat fee. Bottomless. Tip mo- the girls. Yeah. Bottomless mimosa. Bottomless mojitos. 
Will Will took me for my first gay experience when he took me to the Abbey. I uh, mean, <laughs> he didn't fuck me. That's not what I'm trying to say. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, what I'm saying is, is Will took me to like my first like gay bar experience. There is something about bottomless mimosas at a gay bar. Oh yeah, it, it's like having a hot dog at a baseball game. Yeah, I mean, it was it. That's what you do at Palace. Is you get at bottomless mimosas. But I stopped drinking the bottles. Of mimosas make you look bloated and washed out. They also get you fucked up. Yeah. I mean, after I was about fucked. three mimosas, you're swimming. Oh, yeah. So when I went to Palace like two weeks ago, two or three weeks ago, when I went on my vacation with the Street Twigs, <laughs> Street Twigs, Street Twigs, Street Gays, um, my shirt came off at the gay club. Mm -hmm. And I, I want to say something as a gay man, the shirt coming off. At a gay bar it means is business. so liberating. It means business. It's so liberating. I loved it. It's like putting out the I'm open for business sign. Yeah. Yeah. My shirt came off. I had a girl, one of my girlfriends, like she had lip, red lipstick, kissed both my pecs. Mm. So I had red lipstick like yeah. on both my pecs. It was, it was, it was sexy. <laughs> so where, I don't even know where the fuck this is going. You were telling me. Um, You got to come out to one of the drag shows. Okay. I'm going to Pride though. I South still, Beach Pride. I still think Austin shows Drag Race was the end of this. I think yep. that should. I'm going to be honest. I think it should be your next show. Okay. Okay. Put your fucking back into it. I'm going to get the elder gays okay. approval. Okay. Get the gay council together. Okay. Do get, I need to get in drag? Like, because I'm going to host it. No, I think you're the host. I'm the host, but the, I think at the end maybe I have to do it. Uh, you got to do a musical. I got to do something. You got to do a musical number. Yeah. What's what does does. Hang on. Does Frank Sinatra do a, a duet with anybody? Uh, yeah. Uh, something called "Look Up Something Stupid." Something stupid. What's in this? Who's the woman in this? I think. I don't know. I can't hear it. Okay. And I'm thinking you go split down the middle, Frank, and whoever she oh, is. Oh, and do both. That's genius. I mean, if you're the host, you got to do a showstopper. I do. I know. I have to do something crazy. Or you could do islands in the stream. That, that is, is what you are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can 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 I um? I'm gonna. I'm learning a Dean Martin song for Cutie Summer uh, Summer Showcase. Whoa, Tucker! Hey, Why is Will always right? This is why they keep me around. Yeah, I am the consigliere. I am full of ideas. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Tucker. I hope you had a great stream. Will Will is always correct. Mm. Will has told me many things, and it just takes me. It's just a matter of time before I execute what he told me to <laughs> like one one thing will told me he said you need to get on finasteride yep and guess what i ordered today finasteride actually do test ride <laughs> once a week what the hell is do test ride i'm actually i'm on oral minoxidil okay i started that which is great and do test ride is a more intense min uh, finasteride but you take it once a week instead of every day it's oh. it's half life is crazy so, pretty soon I'm going to come in looking like just locks of hair everywhere. Samson. Yeah. Locks like Samson. But Minoxidil, you, that's the one you said it only helps for the crown? Yeah. yeah it's My crown has already started to fill in um, on, the oral, on the oral. There you go. It's crazy. No, they, they I go to this place. They take like high, like light, super intense light on your scalp, and they do update photos, and I literally can see the fucking... Wow. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, I... Uh... I say to everybody, young man, if you're losing your hair, got to get on. Uh, gotta yeah, get you got to get on it, guys. I'm telling you, because once everybody's Propecia. like, everybody always waits till it's too late. Yep. If you see a guy who's bald, it's over. Yeah, it's too late. It's too late. You can't get it back, guys. You can't. You And you're not guaranteed to have good donor hair, and you can't transplant an entire scalp. You nope. can't, right? Nope. Not at all. You can, you can only stop the... Stop the war. Yeah, you can only stop the bleeding, right? That's all you can do. Because at the end of the day, your genetics are going to win. We just got to get through all the fucking before that happens, <laughs> right? Am I going to reach a time in my life where I just don't want to have sex anymore? Uh, no. Okay. 
No, I don't. I gotta be like this. I forever? don't think you'll live that long. <laughs> you don't think so? I, I think you'd have to hit like seventy. I still think even in your sixties, you'd be like, oh, you want a little dickin'? <laughs> uh, you think so? Yeah. Oh my god, I need to respond to somebody. I'm in so oh, much trouble. Speaking trim. of dickin. Oh my god. Hold on. Oh no. Yeah. Oh boy. Street Twinks? No. Oh. Oh yeah, wow. No, not Street Ooh. Twinks. Just Twink. But he's fine. Um <clears throat> Anyways, do you need to go? No, no, I don't need to go anywhere. Oh. I'm here for you. Oh. Whenever you want me to go, I'll go. If you want to move on to your next thing, no. I can totally go I'm order my acai bowl, get a little stoned. I remember your time. Okay, great. Awesome. This is a great episode of Showdown. What do you want to talk about, Will? Health side effects for taking drugs on just growing hair is not worth it, in my opinion. No. You've never been bald. Yeah. I mean, neither of you. But no. I mean, here's the deal. The, you just got to take it. I was worried about minoxidil because of the shed. Like they say, you heard of the dread shed? Mm. Like it's scary, but you just got to get on it. Get on it early when you have a lot of hair and you don't really notice the shed. Like I'm in a little bit of a shedding phase right now, but nobody would really notice. You look great. In the front, a little bit of a shed, but you don't notice, right? Mm. I'm telling you, it's the only way. Mm. It's either bald or those medications. It's Some it. Some men look good bald. <laughs> Some men do. I don't look good bald. I don't either. So I take the drugs. You've been on finasteride since before eighteen. Yeah, eighteen years old. How did you? What? What made you start? My grandfather was bald as a fucking cue ball, and I saw my hairline pushing back, and I threw a fucking fit. And you got on that shit, and got did it just shit. halt in its tracks? Mm -hmm. Did you? Did you like? Did you grow any back, or did you just? Yeah, a little bit. It's amazing. Yep. No, I'm totally. I'm going for. I'm gonna have a perfect fucking hairline. In a year, guys, you're going to see me fucking shaved head blonde. Perfect hairline. Love that. Blonde. Love that. What do you think? I love that for you. Nose ring? <laughs> wow, you're getting hot. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. What do you guys think? Do you think I'd look good blonde? Huh? <laughs> yeah? No? No? Go fuck yourself. I need a new style. I need a new hairstyle. I'm sick of the same old shit. I told you I think a side part would go crazy. Yeah, I need more hair for that, though. It would, it would be a side recession. It would be like a you. I'd pull this to the side, and you'd be like, holy shit, put that back. Put that back. Put that shit back. You know? I'm a big flip-around hairstyles guy. Yeah, you you have more hairstyles than anybody that I know. Yeah, I just I just... Do what I feel. Yeah. I uh, feel feel what I like. <clears throat> Absolutely. Green hair? Green hair. No way. Be oh, I've been growing my facial hair out every five to seven days. I, I, I don't shave every five. I shaved right before I came over here. Oh. I thought about... I thought about not shaving. I love the idea that you're flirting with growing a beard. I do. I, <laughs> like it's this giant can commitment. I, can I show you? Yeah, wow. That's for a cool... Can I show you a video? Hold on. I mean, look at that. Yeah. I mean, that's still stubble, though. Really? Yeah. I mean, look at this. That's stubble. Really? A beard is like a beard. Chat. Ah. Chat, look at this. <laughs> Chat. Chat, look at this. Look at that. I mean, come on. That's right. <clears throat> that's stubble. Go fuck yourself, huh? Uh huh. That's what about a month you just can't shave? I'd have to be paid. <laughs> I'd have to be I'd have to get a sponsorship from a, like a razor company or something. They're just like That's crazy. You'd be that afraid to change your look. I think it's a great brand. What is? I think it's a great brand activation. Growing is a beard. Growing a beard and then then like revealing your freshly sh shorn face. Knowing you, you'd grow the beard and then like it and then cancel the activation. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm sorry, I'm married to the beard now. <laughs> oh my God. Did you see the picture of me as blonde? 
Wait, wait. Have pics of Austin as blonde. Scroll up. Ooh, I kind of like that. I don't know. Uh, I kind of like that. I mean, wait, did Auntie Piker? Oh, that's a year ago today. You got a little bit of a Pete Davidson thing going on. I mean, chat, I don't know. How do you? Looks good. Looks like Ryan Gosling. Oh, shit, I need to fucking dye my hair. You got a little bit of Gosling. Do I need to dye my facial hair? No. God, you don't dye your facial hair. Oh, okay. No. No, I was just curious. That's crazy. Mm hmm. Why are people saying Ludwig core? I was the blonde one first. What the hell? Yeah, you were the blonde. Wait, when I met you, you were blonde. Yeah, I was the blonde innovator. Yeah, absolutely. The blinnovator. What's next for your business in terms of like, are you going to, you have sauce? What are you, what are you coming up with next? People were saying I should make a fragrance, but I have, I have merch coming out. Um, mm -hmm. I can show you the dry run. Yeah, let's see it. I haven't shown this to anybody. This is you're not showing this to your oh yeah oh fuck yeah yeah are these oversized uh we're we're gonna work on the fabric a lot okay but yeah that's just a uh, first look i'm not gonna show you chat sorry okay so speaking of fashion I, you, this reminded me because the shirt that i wore on the podcast kind of looked like your logo sure every time i wear something cr a little bit like more fashionable and something that you and hassan are very proud of like people clown the fuck out of me and i don't care because i think it looked good yeah people clown the fuck out of hassan and i all yeah too but like somebody that outfit that i wore on the podcast somebody said that i looked like a medieval peasant listen people are afraid of what's different mm. especially people that have no fa fashion sense every yeah. time i wear something wild as fuck people will be like Mah. right that's the thing. You're the king you, of wild as fuck, though. At some point, I'm going to cut my hair. Like, it's long as fuck. I've loved it. And there's going to be a bunch of people in chat that will be like, ah, where's the hair? It's like everything has a season. Yeah. Got to stay fresh. Yeah. Constantly changing it. I'm not fucking Doug Funny. Have you, a, always, have you always been that, like that? Yeah. I'm not a cartoon character. I'm going to change my look like once or twice a year. Yeah. What's next? <sighs> I'm thinking about doing a lot of stuff. Okay. I was actually thinking about piercing my nose. Okay. And doing a mullet. <laughs> you you could pull anything off. Yeah. Because you, you know why you pull it off? is because you're confident. Yeah, you just go crazy. You just go crazy and you own whatever look you have and that's how you pull it off. Yeah. But I always like going back to blonde every once in a while. I do like going blonde every once in a while. That like hard part, mm -hmm. or maybe some or fringe, some short hair, short hair nef. Short hair nef is fun, yeah. I just like long hair is such a fucking to do. Yeah, I was in the gym today doing fucking squats, and I had like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's too much. It's a lot. Did you hear a song got profiled in Australia as what a gay man? <laughs> No, he got stopped at border control, and they said, no, where are you actually from? Your name's Hassan. You're not from the United <laughs> States. Yeah. They said, where are you actually from? They didn't think he was American. They're like, where are you actually from? Will, when I say I would have gotten deported from Australia, I would have. You would have you piped up on that. I would have. I would have said, how fucking dare you? And then I was gonna. You can't come into our country. I'd be like, yes, send me back. Really? I, w I would. I would. I would have stood up for him, and I would have gotten deported. I would have gone. He Unless told, we he had told me his name was Steve. What? I would be like. He, he told me his name was Steve. Oh, his wait. name's Hassan. <laughs> <laughs> he usually doesn't sweat this much. <laughs> I would try and get his ass searched. Really? I would try and get his asshole searched. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. That's to me, that's funny to get your friend full cavity search. It depends on it depends on what we had planned in Australia. Like it the, the degree of which we had like if we had Steve or, or not Steve Irwin, Robert Irwin yeah. on our podcast, mm. I'd be a little less I'd be like, come on. I mean, you know. 
Come on, he's that's a little un- rude. <laughs> We can we can work with this. He's come on. He's an American citizen. Sure. Right now, if we didn't have Robert Irwin on the podcast, maybe I'd be a little bit more aggressive. Yeah. Right. I have never. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Because they can just kick your ass out yeah. if they want to. Yeah. Like my- I'm gonna go to Wet Australia, also yeah. known as Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Austin just wants hot boys. I'm a simple man. Mm-hmm. I'm a simple man. I'm a simple man. Are you going to go to Thailand with me? Yeah. Are you going to go to Brazil with me? Yeah. Brazil sounds... Uh, yeah, yes. Yeah, of course. Yes, I'm going to Brazil for sure. Okay. Come here's to my plan. Okay. Are we going to Thailand? Is it the same trip? I want to book the Brazil trip first okay. for next year. Okay. For what Carnival. Month? Oh, fuck yeah. And I want to do the full... Holy shit. Rihanna. Holy shit. I want feathers. Oh, yeah. I want metal. Oh, yeah. I want... G string. Wow. And I want to shake it on Main Street. Do they have Marriott's? God damn it. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, for sure. They have Carnival. Is Carnival. It, is it just a festival? Music it's festival? The festival. The musical festival? <laughs> the musical festival. Bro, this is Carnival. Look at this shit. Holy shit. Look at this shit. God damn. Yeah, it's wild, bro. Oh my god. Yeah, it's insane. And I want us wearing this. It's like the Olympics of I'm saying you, me, and Hassan dress like this. Oh yeah. Look at that. You think Hassan would go? I I think after Australia we call the shots. Yeah. <laughs> we 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 own the company now. That's right. We have ta- we have acquired the company. That's right. The board of trustees. We, this a- is a hostile takeover. Yeah. This he had no choice. Yep. We are majority stakeholders in Hasanabi. We have taken over the Hasanabi Industrial Complex. I'm so sorry. We have copyright struck all of the accounts, and now we own everything. Would y'all go to China? I suppose I'd go to China. I'd go to China. I go. To Ch- I really want to go to Thailand, though. I think. I think I've decided that I'm doing Thailand just by myself. Okay. I'm gonna. So I'm a- not invited anymore. No, you can come. Okay. But I don't think you're that hot on it. I'm saying I'm gonna bring a cameraman. You- I'm gonna oh, live in the gym. Okay. And I'm just gonna do two weeks. What makes you believe I'm not hot on it? I just don't know if you'd like it. Living in a gym for two weeks is where you kind of just start doing to lose Muay Thai me. every day. <laughs> Yeah, I'd be like kicking the shit out of each other. That is a that is definitely a you journey for sure. Yeah. Like if you're like, let's go to Thailand. That's when you'd shave your head. If you ever want to do a shaved head, if you got absolutely gutted, shaved your head, uh-huh. tiger tattoo on the ribs, mm. and you came back horde. Came back horde. You know what I mean? Yeah. Horde. A new person. A new person. Nice. Like eye contact with every intimidating eye contact. I feel like when I I feel like when you get to your when I get to my mid thirties, I feel like that's the time to do this. Like that's the time to switch mm. to the the blonde shaved head. Yeah, that's the moment. Yeah. What do you think? Yep. Just on the back of a motorcycle. Yeah. Shirtless. Yeah. Just gutted. Pulling up to Bangkok. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna move to Thailand. We could we could definitely live like kings in Thailand. Oh, I know. When are you retiring? When did you when when did you see? What does retirement for Will Neff look like? I think I would basically, I don't think I'll ever retire, retire, but I think the next phase of my career after this next year of content would probably be like going more part-time with streaming Mm -hmm. and pursuing filmmaking and acting. That's your your dream. Yeah. I'm trying to make this year Mm -hmm. the most dense content year of my life Mm -hmm. and i started the year with the streamer awards basically Mm -hmm. and since then i've done like eight special streams Mm -hmm. and they've all been like crazy Mm -hmm. so like i've been doing like one big special stream per week Uh and i'm gonna try and maintain that pace through the entire year like i'm bringing back donna i can't wait 
I'm run, everybody. When, 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 when does it start? Oh, I don't know. We have our first production call tomorrow. Mm, fuck yeah. Join OTK to retire. No, not retire, but like ultimately, guys, I just think like at a certain point, you top out. You, you, like when I would go live after this next year, if I were to move back a little bit, it wouldn't be like I retired. It'd be like I'd probably stream four days a week. Mm -hmm. And those streams would be like more like plotted. Like every time I went live, it'd be like the Germa arc, basically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the way to do it. Mm -hmm. That's absolutely that's the way yeah. to do it. Yeah. Um, do you need do you still have your um outfit for Donna? I'm gonna get a new one. Okay. I'm gonna do, do a do you need it? I was like the set probably exists somewhere. I'm gonna do a whole new everything. G four was fun. G four was great, man. I miss it. Yeah, I think G four really could have gone crazy if not for that studio. It was a beautiful studio, but yeah, yes, it beautiful. sank the company. Total waste. Total waste. Um, MIB Co. Wait, why Show is someone Austin asking? Donna Puppet? This is my honey. Wait, is this your... Do you own this? Yeah, it's my family's honey. Oh, nice. I told you, right before I was about to retire streaming, I was, I was going to go keep bees. Oh, fuck yeah. But by the way, guys, if I dial back streaming, I'm going to do a lot more filmmaking and acting, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, you need to teach me how to act. I could do that. Like, I want to be in your film. You just got to teach me. How. I think, I think this is what I think. I think there's an incredible actor somewhere in here. I think that too. And once it, once the f switch flips, it's over. I think you're too aware of yourself. Yeah. I need to lose myself. I think all you do in your regular life that makes you aware of you makes you a bad actor. You have so to, all the things that make me You can't be thinking about the way that you look when you're acting. You just have to be. That's profound. Yeah. That hit that 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 is very profound. Yeah. You can't be like fixing your hair. No. If you're concerned with how your hair looks, you're not acting. You just gotta be. You just gotta be. You gotta be in there. Gotta drop in. Yep. I, I would love to do you know what I should do in like a month or two? Um an acting class. Yes. Yes. Inside the actor's studio. Yes. Improv, like an improv thing. I wanted to do um, like an SNL for Twitch. It's tough. It's just too, it's, it's too, it's, it's be, incredibly complex. It'd be a lot of Will Neff. <laughs> yeah. And Seer. It'd be a lot of Will, Will Neff and, and Seer. Seer. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think, uh, I think an acting class would be really fun though. Because we've done improv classes, mm. but like scene work. Mm. I'm, or like get the screenplay to a film and read the whole thing. Like a table read of a movie. Mm -hmm. It'd be very fun. I think that'd be great. Yeah. But improv. But in, well, you want to do improv, all right. Improv would be great. I think and yeah, you take us through a class and then then we do the improv. Then we then we act out scenes. I've done a few improv class. I love to. I'd love to do more work with the Everything Now show. I've, I gotta get back to them. I'm terrible, but what's the Everything Now show? They're an improv show on uh, Twitch that do a really great job, mm. and I've been horrible at keeping in contact with them because I've been just running back and forth between Austin and making stuff. And da -da 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 -da. you're a busy man. Twitch recreates the room. That'd be great. You're tearing me apart, Lisa. Somebody call me Mrs. Austin Show. You're Excuse well, you. <laughs> Um, would you ever do dropout? I don't know what that is. What's play their streamer award clip? Is there a clip of us? No, they're talking about the Everything Now show. They oh. won. I think they won Hidden Gem. I'm so self absorbed. It's okay. Did somebody make that for you? Hey Donna. Yeah, yeah. I got a Hey Donna plate. I got a bunch of treasures. Wow. There's Star back there. There's a. All right, everybody's asking. Okay. When can they expect the next name your price? So interesting that you ask. Mm. Name your price. Mm. I can't tell you exactly when, but it's <laughs> it's so interesting you asked. I can't tell you shit. I mean, it's happening. Okay, but it's at the end of this year. Okay. Similar time frame as to last year. Okay. And I will tell you, we yep. will have, um, we will have some live stuff. 
mm. in front of audiences. Oh. But we also returned to the studio, which I think I think is a great thing. What well, we can do more bits. We can do more bits. Also, the environment's heard, a little bit more controlled. And I heard it, a rumor about an addition to the show. Oh yeah? Yeah. That this season would have a house band. We that's what we need we're working towards, yes. Mm. We think we need a house band. Name your prize needs a house band yeah, well, for sure. For Austin and the shows. Da, 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 you know what we da, need da, to do? Da. You come out every episode. Yeah, yeah. And name your prize. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta name that prize. Come on, name that prize. I think, do we need a new theme song? I think we got to keep the name, yo, press. I like that a lot, but I, I have you ever seen the sketch with Keenan where he's like, uh, what's up with that? Ooh, what's up with that? Where the intro just rolls for like the entire show. Just, on side, and you would just come out and you'd be like, name and a price. There it is. Tissue paper, five ninety nine. <laughs> down to the bridge. <laughs> I think, I think we should make, cause I can't afford a band. <laughs> I think you can. I mean, I could, I could have, I, I think, depending on, but I think we should make it of Twitch streamers. Maybe I could get a music section. We could get in, and we could support the well, music I streamers suggested Twitch. You. I just suggested someone. Oh, you did? I did. Yeah. And I just think that would go crazy. Yeah, I think so too. If you just had a few brass instruments. Yeah. And every episode, you know, like out of nowhere, you're just halfway through a segment and then someone's like, yeah, I, I've been going through a hard time. My dog just died. And you're like, mm. Name your <laughs> I think you know what I've tried to do is I wanted to have musical guests on Name Your Price that were like that are still alive, but they were big in the seventies, like Engelbert <laughs> Humperdinck. That's crazy. Like, look up Engelbert Humperdinck. Can't wheel out an eighty-year-old. I just Engelbert think be, Engel Engelbert. Hump, Humper, Humper, Humperdink. Yeah, right. Dude, look up twenty twenty. Look Engelbert, up Engelbert Humperdink is probably almost look, dead. Look, look, look up Quando Quando. I love that song. Quando Quando. Look at a Engelbert. This is probably offensive in some way because it's the seventies. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing, but it's probably not. He's romancing these floozies. Mm hmm. My grandmother had the biggest crush on Engelbert. Engelbert Humperdinck. Yeah. And <laughs> we're going to wheel look, him out. Look up Engelbert. With, a, with an oxygen tank. Yeah, look up Engelbert Humperdinck 2023. Let's see if he's still performing. Uh, all right. Let's see. <laughs> he is. Austin. Austin. My God in heaven! Hold Come on, on. That hold would, on. That would do numbers. Come Austin, on. come on! Wait, he's wait. still killing it. <laughs> Look at this. Are you? Come on! Look at that. He's still. He's still got he's it. He's singing. <laughs> he's still got it. He's sitting Winter Wonderland. I know it's perfect. I think I think if we brought him to TwitchCon, he would the crowd would go nuts. For Engelbert Humperdinck. I think if we introduce the real Engelbert Humperdinck. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. I think it would do numbers. Okay, can I can I make a suggestion? Sure. I will work for free this entire season. Oh my god, if we were oh I will god. work for free this There's, entire season. Oh god. If you could get them to do one appearance. Dude, if do you, <laughs> if you could get Stevie Nicks to show up and do one appearance, I would donate my entire year salary. Oh, that's insane. Can you imagine if Stevie Nicks showed up and was just like, just like the one winter. Then your song is like you're singing. What fucking about, quacking <coughs> just like yeah. What about Abba? Abba would go crazy. Yeah. Just like a super ball, trip ball, let's mm -hmm. gonna find me. Um, if you change your mind, for cool I'm the first in line. Take a chance, take a chance, dude. This song actually goes so nuts. 
Oh, vocal harmonies. 70s songs had such a different energy. Mm. It was like all of these super beautiful women were like, if you can't fuck anybody else, you can always dump a load in me. Like, <laughs> like Dolly Parton's Jolene is the most confusing song of, of all time, right? Because Dolly Parton is like one of the most beautiful women of all time, right? Especially in that era. Yeah. What the fuck did Jolene look like that yeah. she's like, yo, Jolene, I know you could fuck my man. I know you could just fuck my life up. Like, hang on. I got to pull up this image. Like a live. What did Jolene look like? She was a babe. It's true. Yeah. What would you do if I got Dolly? <laughs> do you know Rob Neff was friends with Dolly Parton? No shit. This was crazy. So my dad had cancer. Mm. What? And twice. Your dad is an amazing man. Yep. So he, his really wealthy friend, uh, Feinberg, who is one of the owners of Pepsi, was like, stay in my apartment in the city because you're getting treatment in the city. So my dad was staying in this Feinberg guy's apartment in New York City, and his neighbor was Dolly Parton. And he became friends with her? Became friends with her. What happened? Did they just fall, fall out of touch as people do? Life happened. But yeah, apparently he met her a few times and they were, you know, fast friends, fast friends. My grandfather was friends with Dick Van Dyke. Really? Yeah. Huh. So I love Dolly Parton. I, I'm a big Dolly fan. I okay. love Dolly. Who's someone we could legitimately get from the 70s? Oh, Engelbert Humperdinck, obviously. Dude, if you got Sam and Dave, I, they can't be alive anymore. Are Sam and Dave alive? Are they, oh no, they died. Fuck. Damn it. Um they died in the 80s. Fuck. Um <coughs> Wait. <clears throat> Sam Moore is alive. Okay. He's 85 years old. Get him out there. You think so? If we got Sam from Sam and Dave to cook up something like this. What about Stevie Wonder? Just too big. Wonder we we can't afford it. We can't afford it though. Barry Manilow, we could probably afford Barry Manilow. Do you think we could? Okay, so Engelbert Humperdinck, I think we could get a steal. <laughs> <coughs> I'm a big advocate for Engelbert Humperdinck. Engelbert Humperdinck <coughs> would go nuts. I think Eng Engelbert Humperdinck. Ooh, BookEntertainment.com, seventies artist. Yeah, wow. That's for a cool. No. AC DC. There's no way that's cheap. What? No. Quest fee? Al Pacino. Al Green would go crazy. Wait, is this under 200000 <laughs> If we had Al, Al Green? Al Pacino just saw somebody goes, because she's got a great ass. <laughs> Wait. Hold on. Art Garfunkel. <gasps> Wait, what about Simon? Is he? Well, you don't get both. You only get Garfunkel. I know, but the whole thing is <laughs> Simon. Oh, bad company. Bad company. Wait, they're under 150 grand? Dude, I could just get. Barry Manilow. Hold on, Barbara Streisand, <gasps> Blondie, dude, Bob Seger. Oh, it's a million bucks or more. Fuck. Stop the press. Get Bob Seger. Dude, a million dollars plus. Bonnie Raitt. Damn. Oh, Bonnie Rat. That's Bonnie Raitt. That's Raitt, I think. Yeah. Carlos Santana, a million bucks. We we don't. That's have crazy. That. Shaka Khan. Shit. Chevy, Chevy Chase, Chase just for hundred to just come be mean to us. Uh, I'm David Letterman. <gasps> Diana Ross for thirty five thousand dollars? No way. No way. What? No way. Diana Ross would go nuts. Oh, what's Dolly for? Wait, Dolly is going for 50 grand? 
There's no way. Wait, that's a demo. What does that mean? It says call for fee. I don't think Fuck. that. I don't know what that. Don means. Henley. I don't know what that means. <gasps> wait, wait, hold on. Don McLean, isn't that the guy? The day, the the the. the... <gasps> Now that would be the one for name your price. Earth, wind, and fire. That, Give them whatever they want. That would be the best. Would you give up your year and my year salary to have Earth, wind, and fire come oh, shut down a live show? Fuck yeah. Can you imagine if if we did a Earth, show? Earth, wind, and fire. No, no, dude. Here's Here's how you would do it. Here's how you do it. I can sense it right now. We do a show in September and we just go, hey, Will, do you know what month it is? And that that this comes in. And I go, I can't remember, Austin. What <laughs> month is it? I think I know somebody who could tell us. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, introducing to the stage, Earth, Wind, and Fire. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I would I would just I would quit after that. Yeah, that'd be the best. Wait, Elton John? Whoa. Yeah, you know that's a million that's a plus. Mi that's a million cash. At least. Minimum plus. <laughs> we need to, oh Clapton? Clapton, god damn. <gasps> They're on <laughs> Will request the fee. Request the fee. Can we at least see? Yeah, let's request the fee. Request it. Cause if you don't love me now, you will never love me again. Okay, we okay. Here's what Wait, we need do. To we do. could get foreigner for under a hundred grand. That goes crazy. This is what we need to do. We need to request some of these fees, and we need to tell Twitch, hey, TwitchCon Rotterdam or TwitchCon United States, you need up. You need to up the ante. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Give us Fleetwood. Yeah. We need no... Give us Liza Minnelli shutting it the fuck yeah. down. Agreed. Yep. I think we need, to, we need to do that. We need that. Yeah, we need that. Pete Townsend? Just alone? Without the who? That'd be crazy. Wait, Robert De Niro? I mean, this is crazy that you can... Wait, hold on. We could pay one of these people to just be a contestant. Steve Winwood. Valerie. Call me. Call on me. Wait, what if we just had Stevie Wonder just be a contestant on Name Your Price? We just paid him to be a contestant. <laughs> like he wasn't playing. We didn't. We didn't. He's just up there. He's like, so you guys want me to sing now? We're like, no, Stevie. We need you to lock in a fucking price. Yeah, like we should just. We should. These uh, Minecraft kids have no fucking idea who you are. <laughs> we should. <laughs> that would be, that would be funny though, if we did a As Steven Spielberg. <laughs> if we just as a contestant on name. Your Wait, price. Stevie Nicks is under half a million. Wow. Mm -hmm. Taj Mahal, goddamn. <gasps> Where's Taj Mahal? Right there. Fifty gra Okay, that's the one. Taj Mahal, dude. Do you know Taj Mahal? Yeah. If we had him come out and do Honey Bee for 50, I'd pay 50 grand for that. Look at that. Oh my God, he fucking annihilates. Baby, man, sweet on God, me. Damn. Is he New Orleans? Uh, of course. This is the most New Orleans coded situation I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yeah, it is, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Is this New Orleans? Nah, it's Jersey. <laughs> Waste of 50K? Laugh my ass off? You are nuts. You're deaf. You're nuts. The Doobie Brothers. Oh my God, Rolling Stones. For a million. Dude, my dad would... Ugh. The Rolling Stones from what, dude? Okay. The Oak Ridge listen, Boys. Oh my God! Listen, 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 Austin. I'm telling you honestly. Let's put it all in. Do your OnlyFans for good. You saying sucking fuck some twinks, 
with the goal of we will get the Rolling Stones to go to TwitchCon. <laughs> Could you imagine OnlyFans, all proceeds goes to the Rolling Stones to get to TwitchCon? <laughs> and it's just Mick Jagger on stage playing Name Your Price. Mick, how much for the Kleenex? Ugh. I'm gonna say about three fifty. <laughs> That'd be it. That'd be awesome. That'd be so funny to like Twitch, like because they do like an after party, yeah, right. And they'll get somebody, but the fucking main stage <laughs> in two p.m. is name your price and the Rolling Stones. <laughs> we just bring out the Rolling Stones, and everybody's like, "What the fuck? What the what fuck? Are you up? Like." <laughs> They fucking paid like some musical performer, which is probably good, like you know yeah. Doja Cat. Yeah, but at fucking two p.m., the Rolling Fucking Stones <laughs> for a thousand for select a people yeah. in folding chairs. What did you stop me at? Oh man, that'd be awesome. Wait, oh my god, you can get yes for a hundred grand. Damn, I'll be the roundabout. Wait, ZZ Top, dude. ZZ Top would be crazy, but if you did, if you did a, if you did a uh, fucking uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure cosplay <laughs> contest, and then you all of a sudden played Roundabout, and they came out. Yeah, we need to do something bigger this year for sure. I be the Roundabout. So we married somebody on stage last year. What what's bigger this year? Let's kill someone. <laughs> I thought about a live birth. You give birth. A live birth? You bring a child into the world. Like, I, I think nobody's going to remember this, but well, I think... we have to do a C-section. I know. I think we should... Even if, I think we should fake it. Okay. Like, I think we should bring out a, a, a pseudo, like, pregnant... What if someone consummated their wedding on stage? Like, consummate? Like we, we pulled a shade and they had to fuck on stage. <laughs> We need to do something crazy. Yeah. So fuck on stage. Public execution. Public execution. Live childbirth. Yeah. What else? Anybody else? Kitty. I've always wanted to do a hook suspension. Okay, what's that? You've never seen this? No. Okay. Let me show you. <laughs> Somebody said an, an open casket funeral. <laughs> what is... an insane thing to do. For a name your prize. This is a this is a hook suspension. Feeling it. They literally put oh fuck hooks in your skin. But without the drugs. And you like <laughs> you like dangle. I like that I need. Oh my god. Okay. And oh ouch. Have the, uh, you know, Wait, does it hurt? Like, oh yeah, it hurts. Like, no, Why would they do that? Because it's out there. Oh my god, this is some Portland shit. This is some There's no shit. way this isn't in Portland. Where is this from? This has got to be Portland. If if we did a if we did a segment where, where I I got a hook suspension and then I had to paint while my body was going into shock. We did Pictionary. It was, it was, All right, Will will give you clues. <laughs> He's going into shock. I I love name your price because we could do something like that and yeah. it would be a hit. Oh yeah. It's so in the <laughs> DNA of the show. You guessed that it was a sandwich. Will, what was the answer? It was Black Hawk Down. <laughs> it was Black. I didn't know how to draw it. <laughs> okay, so we got suspension, execution. Live live birth, consummating, consummating, uh, open casket. What funeral. if we had a falconer? Oh, oh, to like loose a bird. Wait, that is awesome. <laughs> Wait, no, that's insane. A hawk in TwitchCon. Yes, I think actually that is actually doable. Yeah, I don't know how we do it like, or what the game all would three be. Three people hold up a hot dog, and whoever's hot dog he falcons. Yes, <laughs> the entire audience. Holds up hot No, dogs. that's so dangerous. <laughs> that's that's how some child we, we, gets its we eye put, taken out. We put we put fish underneath the seats, and we ask the audience to hold them up in a section. 
and we just see which one the yeah. bird takes. That would be so funny if we paid the falconer to have a real bird, right? Yeah. And he loses it, and we have the falcon fly off stage, and then we just have a fake flau- falcon <laughs> fly out, and we're like, oh my god! He's rabid. Yeah. <laughs> we pull out t-shirt cannons. Oh my and we god! Try and shoot the bird. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Take it down. Uh, well, TwitchCon's back in San Diego this year. Yep. We we need to do something crazy. So Falcon, Falcon. Okay, Falcon's great. I think we need to do something with wild out animals. What about what about what about what about a bull? <laughs> Austin, I got it. Okay. You have to give a fan a tattoo live on stage. Wait. That's insane, and somebody would do it. That's insane and doable, and somebody would definitely do it. Yes. And But what's the game? They bid their points. They basically throw the game, but the winner gets to decide what you tattoo on that person. <laughs> That's awesome. But they throw the game. They get they've they've given away their points. They give away all the points. Yeah. The wager, the person that wagers the most points gets to choose the tattoo. Yes. And it's permanently. And you have a minute 30 seconds to do it. <laughs> I totally would somebody would agree to do that. Yeah. Oh yeah. A hundred percent. I mean, we got we found a couple to get that couple, by the way, actually got married. Yeah. That yeah. was a legit marriage. We legit marriage. Elvis signed the paperwork backstage. By the way, Elvis really soaked up the moment. <laughs> Elvis, a five minute segment turned into an hour long. We didn't have any rehearsal with Elvis. Yeah, but that segment went about twenty five minutes too long. <laughs> <laughs> I love his little booty. It went 25 minutes too long, and he was good, but it was just too long. Yeah. Elvis needed to wrap it up just a little bit. And when Elvis came out, I realized, oh, my God, nobody in the audience knows who Elvis is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, You know? mm -hmm. (laughs) No one knows who Elvis is. And he he didn't really do a great Elvis. Mm, Could have done better. No, it wasn't We should have brought S-Fan out as Elvis. Yeah. I love you, buddy. What the dog doing? I love this dog. Even though, look at him. Look at how spoiled he is. Look at how spoiled. Mm. Mm. So delicious. You can take the popcorn with you. I gotta order an acai bowl. Okay. Later. Mm. You've done. You've done over an hour at this point. Yeah. Yeah. I I appreciate it. I think it's only two hours. I think chat. What do you think? Do do you think we should make the showdown a regular podcast I think that we, we have maybe as bonus content for our or, podcast or its own thing? Because I think you and I we got boobs. This is a different dynamic than uh Yeah. It's sort of like a um it's like you get more it's like a blend of you still get our humor. Mm-hmm. But this is here. This is the way I would describe this. You're getting Will and I's humor. But it's more authentically. This is like the humor that we would have together when the cameras were off. Yeah. Right? Fear and is humor that we're playing up for the camera. This is humor that him and I would just be shooting the shit talking to. This is more authentically us. Mm-hmm. Right? Whereas Fear and is just a little bit more showy. Someone had a great idea. What's that? Divorce on stage. I mean,. That is awesome. Someone signs their final divorce papers. That is great. And then we immediately go into a surprise dating show for both people. Yes. <laughs> yes. Who wants to leave with this newly single woman? Wait, that's a great That's a great fucking reality TV show. Thank you. We need to do that. Newly newly split. Newly split. We just made millions of dollars, but we can't. We yeah. got to shut it down. So, so we 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 say that they're about to get divorced. We ask if anybody in the audience wants to pair off with them. Yeah, pair them off, and then we go. Do you really want to sign your papers? And we lower down the paper from the ceiling. Yes, yeah, done. But your your skin, <laughs> hook suspension. 
<laughs> Quick sign it before Will <laughs> passes out. You're, you're, yeah. You're the, <laughs> the hook suspension with the divorce papers. Oh, man. I like the idea that I'm just always forced to do a hook suspension. <laughs> Even if we fake it, just be like, <gasps> all right, folks, we're really going to get his mind working. Throw the lemon juice on his back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now that Name Your Prize season's over, yeah. the, 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 the tour. What are some moments that you look back on as like, oh. dude, the brisket slam dunk, brisket ball, brisket ball was crazy. The- Do you guys? I don't know if you guys watched that. It, it it was a late show in Houston, Texas, but I ordered. <laughs> By the way, so there's some backstory here, okay? And I didn't know about this because I I oversaw like the the budget and stuff. Well, I didn't oversee the budget directly, but like people didn't really tell me what things cost. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they the production staff came to me and they're like, Austin, can we get like corned beef or something? Brisket. And I was like, No, it's got to be brisket. (laughs) Right? It's gotta be brisket. It's gotta be brisket, right? I was like, It's brisket ball. God. It's got to be brisket. Got to right? be brisket. And so, come to find out. Yeah, here's the, here's the video. Check this out. Here, you can keep talking. It's on mute. So, this is like real brisket. I find out later, the brisket cost $10,000. <laughs> I'm not even kidding you. <laughs> y'all, y'all, I'll be honest. Like, name your price live. They was- asked. They asked Austin if they could do corned beef, and they did not express to him how fucking expensive a hundred pounds of brisket is. Yeah, it was insane. And Austin said, "No, it must be brisket. No, maybe it wasn't ten. It was between three and ten. No, $1, it was. $1, it wasn't ten grand. I think it. I think it was like two thousand dollars worth of brisket. Yeah, it, it was. Yeah, it was. Still, it was a lot. It is a ridiculous amount of brisket <clears throat> to have just slam dunked." Yeah, it was a shit ton. <laughs> I was so in God, look at look at me. Uh. <laughs> I do the Frank Reynolds where I'm like, I Dude, think I did all right. So after after this, the entire stage in front row reeked of brisket. Yeah, it just stunk like brisket. And you guys can't see, but we had to give the front row ponchos. Yeah. So these poor people that had bought tickets and had no idea were had to wear ponchos in the front row because they were in the splash zone and were risking getting splattered with brisket. What a waste of good food. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no. No, no, no. It was rotten. <laughs> it, it was inedible brisket. But we didn't really think it through at all. No. It was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, the the table slam was another one where yep. uh, you know behind the scenes they they asked me to go through the table oh, you know, wow. yeah oh, that's for a cool one. and they didn't tell me that it was a plastic yeah, table and not insane. and not a wooden table <laughs> yep because plastic tables don't time. break Work, yep dude. and so my body broke yeah and I just hit that thing so hard yep mm. yeah we got a raid what was your favorite moment. I mean, those are great moments. Yeah, those are great moments. I think the funny one of the funny moments that I remember is you telling my family that I got gonorrhea live on stage, <laughs> <laughs> and every it came off as a joke until later when I told people that it was actually true. <laughs> well, my whole family's in the audience, and Will's like, "Yeah, wow, that's holy shit! Look at that!" Yeah, there's one photo where you can see how high I got. Yeah, the gonorrhea thing was fucking hilarious. <laughs> that was awesome. That was really funny. Um, I think. Uh, oh, I remember at the beginning of the show. I mean, this isn't even a moment, but the Long Beach show, my mic was off when we came out. Oh, really? Yeah. And I didn't. Re- it was on during. Uh, you can see the intro. If you go to my YouTube channel, you can see me come out and the mic was on for the broadcast. Um, But it was off. Yeah, go to Austin show. Yeah, 
Yeah, it was the uh which one? Uh the the most recent name your price one. This one? Yeah. Okay. See, I come out and I forget You'll see me look at my uh See look at my Oh yeah. Cuz it was off in the venue. Got but it. it was on Love in the program. In the program. God, we look so fucking good. We looked great. We looked so fucking good. We had such a good time. Long Beach, I'm going to say this, Long Beach and Houston, those audiences went nuts. Yes. Yeah. They were crazy. They were crazy. Now, I'll say this. I think I want to do Name Your Price live in a rock venue. Mm. That Houston, the environment... Chat with with the fucking rolling stone. with the rolling stone. Stand it! Yeah, no. We've been touring <laughs> with Will and Austin, and we're so thankful to be here. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. I'll never be your beast. <laughs> of yeah. We just pay them so much money, and they're they're just on every stop of the tour, <laughs> and we're selling out. We're selling out stadiums. <laughs> We're selling out stadiums because people just want to see the Rolling Stones. I love that. But we, it's name your price, Madison Square Garden. I just love the idea of 2,000 folding chairs in this <laughs> San Diego Convention Center. Just like half the people don't even know what they're about to watch. They just hopped in line. They're like, wow, name your price. This is pretty cool. And then all of a sudden, fucking, are you guys ready to watch the White Witch? Here's Stevie Nicks and Fleetwood Mac. <laughs> And if you don't love me now, dude, it, it, you're so right. Nobody would even know. No, it would be it would be the most expensive prank ever, and it would be incredible. Is is that real? Yeah, it's a real raccoon. That's Barnaby. No, no, no. What? Oh, that gun? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, grab it. No, it's unloaded. Go ahead. No, I don't. I don't want to touch it. Yeah, touch it. That's oh, real. don't touch it like that. No, I'm just kidding. It's fake. It's fake. That's from G4. No, no, no. That's from my community. Wait, that wasn't one of the, pe- one, the, <laughs> no, the ones you're, that we... You're thinking of the squirrel that they oh. put on a car. Wait, the, the, the squirrel that we put on a car? Yeah, they used to have a squirrel that they would put on a remote control vehicle. It G4? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that came from G4. Yeah, but that came from Name Your Price. Remember when we bought the stuffed squirrel? No, no, no. And we did the, the that old was, standoff? That was a separate bit. That's Ronnie. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long, how late do you usually stream for? Will I usually stream till about one in the morning? I'll do like six hours. Mm. One a.m. Yeah. God damn. Yeah. You're incredible. You know that? Why? <laughs> See? See? They they say that I'm a fucking part time streamer. See, that's crazy. They don't even. Th- they don't even. They don't even think. I'm so far gone. They don't even think I work. <laughs> they don't even think I work. <laughs> yeah. They don't even think I work. No. Chad, I've been in this business for a long time. He's been in the biz. I've been in the biz for a long time. You don't think I have a savings? Okay. <laughs> Why would you bring that up? Now you're making me think you don't have a savings. No, I do. I definitely have a savings. <laughs> you're like, we have to do another tour of Name Your Price. My favorite comment is, how does he even make money? <laughs> Dude, Austin Show books. <laughs> the Rolling Stone <laughs> spends all the money and just pretends to be Mick Jagger. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm like the Rolling Stones of streaming. I have to go on tour to make money. Yeah, we're like, wait, Austin pocketed the money, and now he's just pretending <laughs> to be Mick Jagger. Yeah. No, every time I'm short on money, name your price goes on tour. True. That's it. True. Well, well, you going to head out? I'm going to head out. Yeah. I'm going to let you have your moment. Yep. <laughs> I mean, My have moment. Your, have your stream. Sure. Uh, I look forward to having you on Saturday. Yep. Chat in the tub with Will Neff on Saturday. Don't miss out. 5 p.m. Pacific before his stream time. 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. In the tub. Will Neff. We'll see you there. 